is my dual band radio with a name that's spelled W-O-U-X-U-N and according to the website at wouxun.us, the pronunciation is O-Sheng. I'm sure you'll find a lot of different pronunciations when you read about the radio on the web and hear people reviewing it on YouTube. I'll use O-Sheng because that's the way they say it's supposed to be pronounced. This radio is a 2 meter and 440 megahertz dual band. It transmits at 5 watts on 2 meters and 4 watts on 70 centimeters. I bought it at HRO because I wanted to get my hands on it, feel it, see what it weighs, and look at the quality before I paid for it. I paid $120 for this particular model. Uh, there are various model numbers on, available online and they all seem to be essentially the same. The radio is one that I consider inexpensive. It's one that I'm willing to take to Burning Man with me. Uh, anything that goes to Burning Man will be destroyed more or less quickly. I expect this radio to last several years through Burning Man. I consider the quality to be worthy of a first radio for a beginning ham and uh, for a backup radio for those of us who have other more expensive radios that we don't want to put at risk. With this radio at HRO, I bought a case that I can use for AA batteries because I'm often without access to a means to recharge my radio at Burning Man and also at, at events. So having a backup battery case is very handy for me. Oshing also sells a very nice speaker cable, uh, coiled cable speaker microphone. And I'm told by the people at um, HRO that this is the connector that you find on Kenwood radios. The uh, speaker mic was I think $17 and that's considerably less expensive than the, the gear you buy that's branded Kenwood. The battery case was $13. The manual for the Yoshing radio is famous online for its bad translation and use of non-standard nomenclature. Uh, it uses phrases and words that American hounds are not used to, so it's difficult to understand and it makes it difficult to program the radio. Because of that I bought the nifty cheat sheet for a few dollars, I don't remember what, and with this nifty cheat sheet, I was able to program in a lot of repeaters by hand without any problems at all. So my recommendation is, if you're a new ham, this is a good beginning radio for you. It's made of plastic and I think it's going to be a quality that's going to last many years. It's not a cheap radio, although it's only $120 and you can buy it for less than that online. I recommend it for new hams because it's a radio that you can afford to waste. When you buy a radio, you don't know what you'll be using it for, and by using it, you'll find out what features you really miss that you would like to have. This is a good basic ham radio with two bands. It will receive on two bands, but it will not receive while it transmits, so it's not what some hams refer to as a true dual bander. Um, it's, uh, it will receive on the two bands, however, so I consider it a very, a very good radio for beginners and a good backup radio for people like me who have other ham radios available to them. As um, an example of comparison, this radio weighs nine and a half ounces according to my kitchen scales, nine and a half ounces. This is a Yezu FT60. It's a metal case. This is a seriously heavy-duty radio by one of the top three makers, and it weighs in at 13.2 ounces. My Baofeng radio is 2 watts and very cheap, $45, cheap plastic, and it weighs 
4.2 ounces on my kitchen scale. This is not a radio I recommend as your only radio. It's a cheap radio and it will fail when you need it. I think the Oshing radio will last longer and will uh, serve you well. It has 128 memory channels and I can, I, as I said, I'm happy with this purchase and I think it'll do me well out on the playa.